Hey guys, welcome to the season and series finale here at Nottingham Forest. The FA Cup final was yesterday. I'm not going to spoil you just yet, so do make sure you check the channel page for that video. This is the last FIFA 22 video I am planning on making before FIFA 23 begins. So do make sure you're subscribed to the channel with the notification bell ticked and you won't miss that opening episode of the Arsenal save on FIFA 23 as soon as I get access to it. Which should be sooner than Ultimate Edition launch on the 27th. It might be a lot sooner than that. Subtle wink. Uh, right. We know the task at hand here. We have failed to finish top four. Despite being in the top four on the final day. Twice previously. We're in the top four with two games to go for us. And we know that a win in this first game against... 14th placed Liverpool, 14th placed Liverpool, would give us Champions League football for next season. Or at least the accolade of actually being able to get into the top four with this Forest side. Manchester City's team is remarkably strong. And the fact that they've only got 68 points after 37 games is a miracle. This is like the, the season where Leicester won the league. Where... Everybody else was just rubbish and couldn't put together a massive amount of victories. And Leicester were like, well, we'll just win the league then with a low points tally. And Spurs have done the same. Nobody is going to get any more than 71 points other than Spurs. I couldn't tell you the last time that everybody from second down had 71 or less points. Been such a competitive season throughout. We've lost 11 games. Manchester United are only 10th, Arsenal 9th, and as we say, Liverpool 14th. It is they that we face first, and then Southampton away from home on the final day. But we could have a party away from home on the final day at Southampton in fancy dress costume because we've got Champions League football for next year, for whoever takes over after me. A win against Liverpool would be enough. Let's see if we can get it. When you look at this team, I have zero idea how this 11 and, to be fair, squad is 14th in the Premier League. You think I underachieve with the teams that I build? Look at this one. Allison 90. Trent, 90. De Ligt, 89. They bought Virgil van Dijk back at 88. Mukiele, 84. Schuermeni, 88. Pellegrini, 87. Vitinha, 88. Jota 89, Salah 86, Luis Diaz 87. That side is 14th in the Premier League heading into the final two days. With squad depth of an 87 Dybala, 85 Alaba, Samikas, Cade Gordon, 86 Dembele, 84 Getralda and 87 Antonio Rudiger. And an 85 Julian Brandt that's not even made the bench. That squad is 14th. How? <laughs> this game is baffling in every possible regard. Three points for us here, and it is a top four finish. Anything other than three points means we will have to do something on the final day. But thanks to Chelsea's defeat to our final day opponents, Southampton, in their penultimate game of the season, it is in our hands. Pellegrini, Vitinha. Oh, forgot the ball. Okay, bye. Tarek Lamptey's time to put the afterburners on. Jacob Ramsey's hit. Look at the space. For Popescu, the man that scored our sole goal at Wembley. Gives us a 1-0 lead at the City ground against Liverpool. That's a counter-attack that Liverpool in real life would be proud of. Maybe that's why Liverpool are where they are in the table. Because they press. Vitinha just quite simply forgot the ball. And then we've raced him behind on the counter. And Popescu's finished well. To be fair, I thought Alisson might have made the save, actually, given the position and how close I got to goal there. But Popescu's finish is just out of reach. But Popescu gave us a 1-0 lead in the FA Cup final. And you know how that finished. So don't get carried away until we're at least 4-0 up. Because anything else can be thrown away. 
Pellegrini into Shuameni. Kyle Walker's retiring apparently soon. Emma Richards has run straight into Luis Diaz. Gay's in the way. Probably should have kept that in, actually, Luis Diaz there, but let it go out for the corner. And Salah will deliver at Pauly at that. Best of clearances from Tarek Lampsy, Pellegrini, Vitinha. Surely now. Yep. 1-1. One, one. Terrible clearance from Tarek Lampsy. Possession recycled by Liverpool. And just as impressive as Popescu's finish was, as is that one. Good first touch. And bent into the top corner. We're level. Back to Pellegrini. Sure many quickly to Diogo Jota. Mikalenko tried to get there. Emma Richards just has to head behind. Anywhere will do in that situation. Salah with the delivery. Looks like it might be going short, actually. Which is odd because the goal came from standing it into the middle. But trying something slightly different this time. Pellegrini finds Vitinha, who doesn't add to his and his team's tally. By burying that one. Pellegrini, lovely back heel. Vitinha again. Good block by Mark Gay. Trying desperately to keep them out here. And that through ball was perfectly weighted. Virgil van Dijk is with me though. And he's good enough to slow me up and stop me. Oh no, come on. I had two people to try and get that ball to. And neither of them were able to get on the end of it. Unbelievable. That should have been 2-1 to Nottingham Forest there, shouldn't it? Absolutely it should. Emma Richards has done well there. It could yet still be 2-1 to Nottingham Forest by the end of the half. But Liverpool are living on the very edge defensively. And Mark Gay is putting in a stellar job at the back as well. Ramsey to Mongola. Popescu's on the run on the far side. But the pass from Mongola is terrible. Thankfully it hit Mukiele's arm. So we will have the chance from the set piece to do something. Mongola, can he find his pass this time? Yes, Tarek Lamptey actually looked to Mongler again. Popescu's made the run in behind. Popescu across the middle. Blocked and cleared away. 1-1 one, one at the break. We've been the better team. We should have had two or three. We don't. How is play still going on here? Let's try again. Popescu. We do have two. Has he hurt himself? Or is he just... Smelling Allison's boots, I'm not sure. Nottingham Forest 2, Liverpool 1. Liverpool will be furious. I would be in that situation. The ball in the middle of the park, going nowhere. Possession changes hands around about the time that the whistle should have been played. Referee allows play to continue. Nice finish by Jacob Ramsey. Just guiding it into the corner. If that happens the other way around, I blow my top. So I apologise, Liverpool. But we take a 2-1 lead at half-time. Andrew Van Dijk into Schuermeni. There's Diogo Jota. Back to Pellegrini and Schuermeni. Into Jota. And here's Mo Salah. Mo Salah, Mo Salah, Mo Salah running down the wing. Ah, shit. There comes the Liverpool press. Luis Diaz. Putting him under pressure. Mukiele, similarly. Vitinha. Oh, Luis Diaz on his own. Diogo Jota. Oh, it's always that extra pass, isn't it? We've seen that so many times recently. It's really becoming quite predictable at the same time, also undefendable. They just play the pass across the box. But you can't not close the man with the ball down because he'll just shoot. But they just do this so much. Juventus did it. Manchester United did it yesterday. Liverpool have done it now. Leicester have done it to us a handful of times. It's a very repeatable goal that we see being scored against us. It might be that it's the way that I play that offers up the opportunity for the AI to do it. I don't know whether you guys have been conceding a number of goals that look like that as well. But certainly, it is a pattern that I have recognised in my own performances or my own results in this save. And it's 2-2 now. Vitinha picking up a yellow card. Is that Pellegrini? It's Lorenzo Pellegrini picking up a yellow card for something. Ramsey delivers the corner. Keepers not come. And Schlotterbeck will punish them for that. We have the lead again. If we were going to do it today, we were never going to do it the easy way, were we? But we're back in front again. 
15 to go. I'm going to make a change. Ramsey is knackered. So let's bring Eddie Salcedo on. Tammy for Tarek. And Rashford can go out wide. Make him a winger, not a full, not a right mid. 15 to go. Jacob Ramsey has played his final minute today. Oh my god, Matthias De Ligt went for an acrobatic bicycle kick. If he'd have scored that, then I might well have just given up the same way I did against Man United yesterday. Eddie Salcedo played in over the top. His touch isn't great. He's turned well enough, though. And then Antonio Rudiger entered the chat. He decided he didn't want to concede. He also decided he didn't want to keep the ball either. He's just kicked that straight off the pitch. So you might as well have let me score, Antonio, I think. Popescu's touch is stupidly heavy, and now Mo Salah has it again. But he's run straight into Ndidi, and we have it back again. What is going on? Trent intercepts that, and Salah finds Pellegrini. Forward to Simikas, the left-back off the bench, seemingly playing at right wing at the minute. And getting a goal through that position as well. Onside and in behind. Simikas... What? 3-3. Three, three. Unbelievable. Seventh minute. Or seven minutes from time, sorry. Oh, yo, yo. His first goal of the season as well in 32 games. They bring on a left back at right wing. And he scores a goal. Of course he does. No, Salah's still here. I could have sworn it was Salah that went off. could have sworn it was Salah. Maybe he was just in the way of the cutscene. Schlotterbeck intercepts there. Salcedo finds Popescu. Tammy's on his way. I think he's offside, actually. Tammy Abraham there. He's going to keep going. It seems he's on. So turn, pass, fail. Pass, goal, no. Oh, as if the first pass wasn't good enough. Rashford. Schlotterbeck's up. Yo! So very nearly, so very nearly, it's a point against Liverpool. In typical, ridiculous fashion, we draw against Liverpool in this game. And it means that our top four status will go to the final day with a question mark hanging over it yet again. For the third straight season, we are in the top four on the final day, but our position isn't safe Southampton to come away from home and they have a very good team they play 4-4-2 at least they always used to play 4-4-2 and they have a particularly good 11 they just beat Chelsea in that round of fixtures which is why it's still in our hands we will finish fourth or fifth this year a point should be enough because goal difference is plus three in our favor chelsea have west ham away i don't see them winning by three goals or more but that's only if we get a point if we lose and they win it's fifth and a number of you if you're betting men would probably put some money on that bournemouth villa and brentford already relegated norwich are safe as are Crystal Palace, both four points from the drop zone with one game remaining. So the only thing that can change is that fourth spot. We'll try our best to make sure it doesn't change, but don't count on it. 4-4-2 as expected for Southampton on the final day of the Premier League season. On the final day of this save, Danny Cardenas is the man in goal. Marcus Holmgren Pedersen, Eduardo Quaresma, Nathan Ake and Owen Weindahl the back. Four. Kingsley Coman, Danny Ceballos, Kefren Turam, and Ruben Vargas. The midfield four with Nathaniel Mbuku and Amin Gouiri, the front two. Options on the bench are not great, but there are some that could definitely make an impact for sure. Still no Jeremy Pino, still no Callum Hudson Odoi, still no Matteo Genduzzi. They've all been missing for weeks if not months. A point should be enough, but obviously we're going to keep an eye on that Chelsea result. If Chelsea win by four goals, then we will need to make sure that we win. 
But if we just go for the win anyway, then we should be fine. Vargas with a header over the bar. Southampton with the early warning shots. Ceballos. Uh, Kingsley Coman's quick, isn't he? He's going to get on that and he's going to get away from me. The finish, not as accurate as it need be, it was very accurate, but he needed just an extra couple of inches. The other side, the goalkeeper, Popescu with runners, or he's left the defender for dead there, who's then had a swipe at him for good measure. Jacob Ramsey will knock that in front of Popescu again, and if he buries this, it would have been a wonderful goal, but unfortunately, his finesse shooting from distance isn't quite as good as his finesse shooting in the box. No goal on this occasion for Octavian Izambuku. Looks for the ball over the top. Can't quite get there. Can we get there? No. Oh, what a dummy. Ruben Vargas tries the extra pass. Needed to go for goal. I can't find Rashford. That was a poor pass. Here's Turam, Gawiri, Mbuku. Gawiri goal. The keepers just, they just don't try and save it, do they? They just dive sideways or backwards almost. It's past him and it's Southampton 1, Nottingham Forest 0. It's good, it's good passing football, but mm, maybe I'm being a bit too harsh on the goalkeeper there. 1-0 Saints. Kefren Turam to Amin Gouiri. Out wide to Windhoek. Back to Kefren Turam again. Well, that pinballed around. It is going to happen again. The exact same goalkeeping animation as before, and Southampton got lucky as hell in the build-up. It's good. Don't. It's going to happen again, isn't it? Watch the build up here. I get an interception on it there, and it it rebounds up. It's the exact same animation where the keeper should save it, but I get the interception in, and it rebounds up off his toe, hits him in the face. I read it, step in his first touch. It goes up his leg, hits him on the shoulder, and goes straight to a Southampton man, and then again. There's not much power on the shot. There's not much accuracy on it. And the same animation. 2-0 Southampton. It would be very apt if the season did finish in this manner. I was just hoping, how dare I, to have one straightforward end to a season and have one positive at some point in this FIFA 22 save. Apparently, I'm not allowed it. Ramsey... It's meant for the left back. Well, it has gone to the left back. Okay. Not exactly how I envisage that pass coming about. Never mind. Rashford looking for Jacob Ramsey through the gap. He's in. He's behind. Ramsey. It's got, it's got to be on target at the very least, Jacob. That's got to be on target. Come on, pal. At half time, Chelsea are winning by a goal to nil against West Ham. So as it stands, fifth place for us again. I don't know why I expected anything different, to be honest. Corner for Southampton, 10 minutes into the second half. Kefren Turam delivers. Indeed, he's underneath. And headed clear. We're going to get to that first. We are. Omar Richards has actually turned very well. Oh, my God! Really? Did that actually hit an arm? Or you... Or he's hit his... Has it hit his hand on its way down? He definitely hits his chest. He chests it there. <laughs> I, w I was literally in there was no defenders in front of me only a defender alongside where I was oh my god if that had gone in half an hour left I need three goals at least two a point given West Ham the scoreline against West Ham for Chelsea a point would be enough and we'd finish fourth on goal difference Mongala, Ramsey Popescu Mikolenko back to Popescu Rashford. Tarek Lamptey spins well. Shot blocked. It'll fall back to Tarek. Support. Omar Richards. There's Jacob Ramsey. He's come short. Looking for Rashford. Beats his man. Rashford. Goal. Brilliant strike. Pick the ball up. Go again. That's one. I have 13 minutes. FIFA 22 has 13 minutes left to change my mind about it. But at the minute, I feel like this game is nothing but a meme. Vargas 
Looking to get away. Gahey coming across. Time's running out. Five minutes to go. They've given it to me. Popescu. Mangala. What a challenge. Kefren Turam has never had longer legs than that. Lamptey's in the way. Two minutes remain. Popescu. Tammy. Rashford. Out to Richards. Delivery. Oh, Tammy was ready and waiting. It's going to be a 2-1 defeat against Southampton. Or is it? Yeah, it is. Because Schlotterbeck tackled him and stumbled. It's going to be 3-1. Oh, it's gone wide, but the final whistle goes. Now, what did Chelsea do against West Ham? Were West Ham able to come back? Or uh, did Chelsea continue to win, which we surely expect them to have done? FIFA 22, ladies and gentlemen. Fifth place for Nottingham Forest. Europa League finish. That's three seasons in a row that I've been in the top four on the final day and been fucked. That is my FIFA 22 experience in a nutshell. And the only thing left for me to do now is this. Because I want nothing more to do with that. 23 absolutely has to be a better year because it cannot be as bad as this one. I can't wait for the new game because it means I don't have to play that one anymore. That's all for FIFA 22. That's all for Nottingham Forest. That's all I care for FIFA 22. Thank you for your consistent support throughout the course of the year. That has been the most consistent thing over the past 12 months. Has been your support for the content, regardless of the shite that we've put up with from the video game. And I know you guys put up with the same yourselves as well. 23 cannot be that bad. So... Here's hoping, here's looking forward, in fact, dare I say it, to the launch of FIFA 23 next week. And content on the new game will be coming to you this weekend. I pray, if everything goes according to plan, FIFA 23 content will be coming to you this weekend. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for your continued support. That summed up FIFA 22 and my experience with it. So... The only way is up. Come and join me on stream. You can see all the behind the scenes. And have decisions made as per your suggestion. Even more so than just the comment section. On the fly. Because streaming all of my FIFA 23 content. And I'd love to have you with me over there. Thank you very much for watching guys. I shall see you in the new game. <laughs>